Hello, pup pup. What are you doing? Are you laying in the snow? <laughs> hey, this is Install One. And I'm going to look at my um, off grid solar lighting setup again. Because last time it was completely dark and you can't really see anything. And I also have made some changes like this cut off box and a couple other things. So I'll start with the battery. It's a 12 volt, uh, 35 amp hour lead acid battery, sealed. And it's deep cycle. Those wires come up into here, which go into this old box that is probably not made for being outside, but it was outside for a very long time until I found it. Yeah, there's positive comes into there. Two fuses. I have one. This one goes to that wire right there. It's just a piece of tie wire. It's iron. It's not a good conductor, but it works for low power things. That's a regular fuse. And I have this slow blow fuse, which is hooked up to this copper wire, solid copper wire, which goes out to um, light in the chicken coop and also a couple of other things. I'll show you that later. Then in here I have charge controller. There are the wires from the solar panels, which the solar panels are up there and they are pretty much covered in snow. This is just from a cheap Harbor Freight um, Harbor Freight solar kit. It's very cheap. It's the older one with three solar panels and one of them broke, so I only have two up there. But here's this really big 50 amp breaker <laughs> running this, this light. It's a halogen light, which actually lights up a lot. Like it lights up everything here. But it also uses a lot of, uses a lot of power, so I don't want that on for too long. There's a voltage. And all that. And that just goes through. So, oh. This is the main switch. It, it just completely disconnects the battery. So, that. Come on. I'll get that later. Okay, I guess I'll start going this way. This is a, uh, this comes from a plug over on the shipping container that just runs some heaters. A heater for the chicken coop and also a heater for the water. Have that there. It comes down and then goes into the box. There's the negative over there. This goes over this way. And then right here I have an extension cord that goes down to the water heater have a thermostat right here. Tried to cover it up with uh, a for sale sign because it's not not good for outdoors. So let's uh, try to do, do that. Junction right here because we actually use this extension cord for uh, wiring in a trailer. So we only had the ends of it, but it was just long enough to span this. And then over here on the shipping container, up there, this is a new pole that I put in. There's the extension cord coming up from the plug. And then there's positive, there's negative, and then that's the steel uh, U-beam. And that cross arm support is actually a real cross arm support. I found that, oh, I don't remember where it was. I want to do something with that later, that disc insulator, or suspension insulator. But it's cold out here, I need to warm up. <laughs> so there's positive and negative go to that extension cord, which that's not a really thick extension cord. It's actually very small, but then that goes out that way. And there's also this beam that goes down to there, helps support it. And then, over here, here's the plug, it's 
a 20 amp outlet GFCI that goes up and then connects into there and then those power lines come out here that is very leaning but it doesn't really matter it's solid right now where it is that wire comes in here here's my light switch and I've already shown all of this in my other video in the uh, chop yeah all LEDs and lights up it lights it up pretty good and then back over here there's like uh, half the snow out right now just snowed yesterday quite a bit so here I have there's the other this is on the other fuse these two wires so greens negative yellows positive it goes up there that connects into a light and fans on the inside this comes over I wanted to do it like a uh, style of a old house with the these little knob insulators and then I also have this iron wire that goes over there and then it goes in right there inside to a light this comes over there are the chickens the chicks are now very big <laughs> and then comes over here here's another thermostat and those two connect into there positive and negative and there's a little connection right there goes down to right here where I have a switch on the inside it also has a negative because it has a light in it and then I have a switch right, that I made right here so that I can turn on the light in there and see the chickens count, count them up and then ooh, icicles power line going out there and also a junction right here for these lights there's a light there and also a light there that lights up everything out there and then there's that wire that gray wire goes over to right there which it has fallen down but I need to fix that uh, 12 volts goes out to a socket and then that's um, has a just a charger a phone charger and then that goes down and connects into our automatic door that closes when it gets dark that's really cool it's really nice to have that but then the wires keep on coming out here and grain a number 62 insulator I really like that one comes out comes to right here there's an inline insulator and there's a disconnect right there because I am not using that but uh, in the summertime when the creek's flowing we'll have a little 12 volt pump that runs runs off of these power lines and uh, pumps water out for irrigation right here I have this switch here that runs this light here so made this kind of a street light old older street light style has a cross arm right right there that supports it Then I have the uh, wires coming from those two go over here into this extension cord that goes all the way over here. Uh, some of the poles are leaning. These are just old bamboo sticks from a um, for like a ski area, like for the netting. Yeah, then this goes out. And then it comes to right here, so that's a, another wire, and then it, I don't have anything hooked up here. It's just the wires end right there. Guy wire, supports to help keep it up. And I usually do stuff with water in the summertime there, so that's why I wanted to have power out here. But that's it. Oh wait, I still want to, I don't want to, 
do one more thing in the chicken coop. There are just two lights in there. In the chicken coop, two wires go out that way and connect in. Uh, this wire right there is positive and then negative comes in from over there. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you liked it. And I have some more off-grid things that I'm working on. And, oh gosh, I need to end this video. I figure it's so cold. Thanks for watching. Bye.